what's up guys I fix it in your face don't forget I have a Facebook uh, that you guys can join if you have questions about anything in the video or anything in regards to anything motorcycle scooter fix it stuff join my Facebook it's an easy way to get in contact with me and get the help you need don't forget to subscribe smash the like button all that good stuff man um, I make these videos for you guys I don't make them for me you can help me by dropping a subscription Join the Facebook. I'm telling you, man. Join the Facebook. You'll, you'll, if, if you're trying to get in contact with me, it's the easiest way to do it. Okay? Don't forget, everything you need is in the description below of the video. Let's get started. Alrighty, guys. Got you on my wireless lavalier mic. Hopefully the audio sounds good. So if you remember, Justin Strictly um, donated this 50cc scooter to us. It has around 2,000 kilometers on it. Not very much, which means the engine should have solid compression. I feel like if we were going to do this to a project, I would rather have it new or under 5,000 miles, and we managed to get that. So um, if you guys remember, I ordered the nitrous kit, nitrous oxide kit for this. The push button uh, system has come in today. This is the Sigma, the Six Sigma kit. I don't know if you guys can see that. There we go, jet kit. Um, really unfortunate they decided not to work with me on this. I bought this with my own money. It's fine. I'm not upset in any way. By that um, I guess I'm just frustrated they didn't even respond to my message in any kind of way they literally have like no videos out there about this kit I've seen like two videos using this kit and um, yeah so that being said a little disappointed with them I'm still gonna represent their product because they're really kind of the only company out there making this but if you guys think this is awesome and you decide to buy one because of this video please reference my name when you make the purchase when they ask for your email details so that they can see that this actually had some transference to the social media platform because that's what us influencers are good for you know what i mean especially if they make a good product i'm just saying um <laughs> so let's do this um seems pretty self-explanatory on the installation of this uh there's really not much to it um, the only thing is I can't mount this on throttle side. It's going to have to be on uh, the left side of the scooter here, which I'm fine with. I have no issues with that. Um, I'm trying to debate whether I want it this way or the other way. It seems easier to put this up, right? I mean, it just does. I just don't like the way that the straps on there. It seems kind of cheesy. However, this does perfect. Well, there you go. This does perfectly wrap around the handle. And it looks like I can screw it directly in, to be honest with you. Um, and that would give me the perfect placement. The problem with that is I don't have, I, I feel like it needs to be like this. And the mounting bracket they give you is just so silly. It's just silly. I want to be able to wrap my hands around this. Like that, ideally, that's the idea. I'm not, quite, I'm not quite sure what they're doing with this thing. Like this is a really weird design. I tried to look at their, their, their setup that they had over there, but I just none of it looked like it would be Usable for this. They really need a better setup. That's what they need. They need to sell you a better setup um, This is just not it's just not good. So I don't know I'm trying to figure out where I can tie in where it's not going to interfere with brakes and all that stuff um, I'm really just I'm just not seeing much that's that's what this is coming down to I'm really not seeing much outside of just velcroing this thing directly to the handlebar just not not quite what I wanted to do probably make it easier for removal putting it in and out um, but once again for what you pay for the kit they don't really give you a ton of line to work with like if I wanted to hide this in the body man it would just be a lot of work to hide this all the way through the body now I'm going to because I want this to look right but when you're steering, it's going to put extra slack and tension on this. So once again, I feel like they could have they could have given you more cable. I mean, this kit was like almost $100. It's very simplistic. I don't even know why they charge so much for these. You can literally get a box of 50 of these online with nitrous oxide. 50 for like 15 bucks. They're selling these for extremely expensive prices, and it's just, base, just basic NO2. So Sigma, I am very disappointed with your with your design shortcomings here. Um, I feel like there could have been a lot better stuff going on here, but it is what it is. It is what it is. We're just going to deal with it. Um, I'm going to try to figure out the best possible uh, situation here. I feel like it's going to be underhand like that. I think that's going to be 
the ideal way to go is uh, to set that up on the bottom so thumb presses out like this. But yeah, yeah, I think I'm going to put some metal biting screws right through this and um, that's going to be the best way to go. This is once again, guys, a scooter I don't care about. So that's, that's the way I'm walking into this. I don't care. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the reality of this. So this is a scooter we don't care about. So I think I am going to drill right into here. Um, yeah, dangerous kit. Just, just to be clear, guys, this is a very dangerous kit because if you've got this here and you wipe out, um, man, just imagine all this scraping and sparking right next to a canister of nitrous oxide next to your hand. I mean, dude, this is, this is fuck around and find out vil right here like we are entering fuck around and find out bill that's exactly what we're entering so anyways let me put two screws in here we'll start the mounting on this and we'll get this up here and then we'll figure out the routing for the cable and stuff and we'll go from there okay Done. The spray and pray nitrous oxide kit has been installed. Psh, psh, psh. There you go. Straight on down. I wanted to do a cleaner setup, but unfortunately the company does not supply you with enough high pressure line to do that. So anyways, ran it down to here, made sure there was no pinch factor so I could go hard over on both sides and it would still flex. I wanted it so that I could still grab the handlebar. So I screwed it directly to the throttle. I can still grab the brake and I can still spray and pray as needed. So it takes eight gram, just like your little CO2 canister guns and stuff. It takes eight gram cartridges of nitrous oxide. The jet is inside of here. It has a 50 shot jet right now. Currently, this is the jet. If you want to go bigger, I have a size chart for drilling. So we'll go 50, 75 and 100 shot and see what this thing can handle. So I have that running down to here, which then goes down over there, makes the loop down the side, straight over to here, drilled direct air box, straight into the airway, right into the carb. As soon as you spray, goes into the carb, which we're still waiting for. And then once we have the carb, we should have a running, driving nitrous oxide powered scooter. So there you go. That is the Sigma 6 
nitrous micro burst kit um, and Justin's 50cc scooter is now um, probably not going to last very long, but we'll see where we, we installed the spray and pray Sigma jet kit. So nitrous installation instructions. I didn't even use that. <laughs> it's pretty common sense at how to install something to make it go faster like this. So it's running some tubing, making sure that your, you know, holes are drilled proper, uh, properly and making sure you have high pressure hose line. So yeah, it's going to burst. It's going to shoot a lot of pressure through that system really quickly. So, yep. Um, we'll talk about how to, uh, use nitrous properly. Um, in the next video because I don't want you guys to think like once you're going as fast as a scooter possibly can That's when you hit the nitrous. The reality is that's how you blow up your engine um, NOS is you meant to be used kind of in the power band area So when you first take off, it's really hard on the engine to spray So I wouldn't spray when you first take off what you want to do is wait until you go And then the engine will die down a little bit and then when you hear the engine start building rpm again so when it goes and when you get to that point, that's when you spray, right? And then you watch your speed. So we have to top off the scooter first and see where it maxes out at. And then we spray when we start reaching the power band of the bike. And then you let off before you reach the top end of the engine because there's still going to be like a half second to a second burst beyond that where it's going to keep the engine going well past what its design spec ratio was supposed to be. So, it'll, you know, I'm just saying we'll probably get up into the higher marks of the engine. But this is a spray and pray kit. You hope you haven't thrown too much nitrous at it. Um, anyways, that's that's the quick, quick and easy way to put that. So we're just waiting on the carburetor, which should be here hopefully today or tomorrow. We'll install the carb. I'll get the scooter running, and then I think we're gonna send this scooter to its death. <laughs> I will be very surprised if this scooter can handle a hundred shot of nitrous oxide. I think it can take a fifty shot maybe even a 75, but a hundred shot, I think is going to blow the piston right out of this thing. I think it's going to go boom. So yeah, we'll see though. We'll see. Who knows? You know, you never know. Mm-hmm. <laughs>